Hello and welcome back. Well, welcome to a brand new playthrough. I'm your host Darv and I'm finally getting my setup back. Finally moving into my new apartment. So hopefully from now on I will be able to do recordings more consistently. Uh, and well, as you can probably see, we will start with Civilization VI, Gathering Storm. I know it's been out for well, some time now, but I had no, didn't have an opportunity to play or watch any of the plays. I really didn't have time for the past two months to do anything. So I saw like one trailer maybe, and basically that's it. So I'm not sure what's going on. I know there will be disasters, I know there are canals, but other than that, I have no idea what I'm get, getting myself into, so let's see. Uh, we're gonna create a game, I'll choose one of the, I have disabled all the mods because I'm not sure if they're compatible or not, if they're gonna break anything or not. Uh, uh, okay, so Eleanor can lead both France and England. Yeah, I think I heard something like that. Interesting. Christina for Sweden. Minerva of the North. Nice. Cooper. Uh, Maori. Begin game with the sailing and shipbuilding technologies unlocked and with the ability to enter ocean. Wow, that's a huge bonus. Okay, who else? Mali. Sons of the Jelly. Faith and Food. Okay. Hungary. Matthias Cor Corvinus. Production to districts and buildings constructed across the river from a city center. Hmm, that's interesting. Inca. Citizens may work mountain type. Mountain tiles provide two food or two production and one food to mountain tiles for every adjacent terrace farm. Okay, Suleiman, Suleiman of the Ottomans, Wilfried Laurier of Canada. Okay, so well, have quite a Dido. I thought we had Dido, no? Maybe I'm mixing it up with some previous version, uh, probably with C5. Begin with game with writing Eureka, only Eureka, and you have fully unlocked technologies. Begin game in an ocean tile, in an ocean tile. Gain a free builder and plus one population when settling your first city. The play the palace receives plus three housing and plus one amenities, plus two science and plus two culture per turn before you settle your first city. Wow. Well, that's definitely interesting. We are gonna go with that. Um, are there uh, s like uh, s ocean cities uh, like in uh, beyond Earth? That would be amazing. Um, so sailing and shipbuilding, embarked units gain plus two movement, unimproved foods and reinforced a plus one production. Wow, coming plus two once the conservation civic is unlocked. So in unimproved woods and, for and rainforests are amazing. Fishing boats provide food and culture bomb to adjacent tiles. Resources cannot be harvested. Great writers cannot be earned. Okay, so that's kind of a bummer. But great writers is not that bad. But not able to harvest resources might be a problem. A building unique to Maori. Plus two culture and faith to all of the city's tiles with a possible feature or natural wonder. Uh, okay, that's plus two culture and faith to all of the city's styles with a possible feature. What's the, what is a possible feature? 
Maru unit, classical array melee unit, adjacent enemy receive minus 5 combat strength. Uh, so it's similar to um, India's, what they called, the elephants. Unlocks the ability to construct PA, un unique to Maori. Occupying unit receives plus 4 defense strength and automatically gains 2 turns of fortification. Nice. Heals even if they are just moved or attacked. Awesome. So, yeah, let's go with standard speed. Uh, well, considering there are many changes, let's go with Emperor. Uh, but with Fractal. Standard size map. Disaster intensity. Set natural disaster intensity. Choose from a setting of zero, less frequent and intense natural disasters to four, frequent and intense. Three and four, severe volcanic eruptions made damage tiles two hexes away. Okay, let's start with two. I have no idea what that's gonna be like. Uh, standard size, random, random. That should restart. Random, random. Uh, considering we are, well, okay, let's go with random as well. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, do we want to choose any of the new ones? Didn't really even have time to read about them, so let's not. Uh, start game. Interesting. So, man. That's interesting. We have sailing right away. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. Coupe the Navigator. You named the land of the Long White Cloud, and now you are called upon to settle new lands. Protect and honor the land and sea, just as your towers protect your people. The Maori will guard the world's natural beauty for all the ages after. Okay, thank you, Sean Bean. Yeah, this is interesting, so... We start in an ocean tile, gain a free building and plus one population when settling your city. Oh, extra housing, extra amenities, but plus two science and plus two culture before we settle our first city. Science is debatable, but culture, I think this is better than uh, the normal start, because normally you get plus one culture for the palace. Okay. Uh, welcome. Uh, sure, why not? Oh, the World Congress is back. Nice. Uh, it is also an important part of uh, discussions. Resolutions affect all civilizations, such as big ban in luxury resources and gaining extra amenities from each copy of the resource. Discussions of potential scored competitions or emergencies that members of the World Congress may join, like world games or a religious emergency. Members can summon a special session if they have an emergency they need addressed, like a request for aid after a natural disaster. Wow. Okay. Diplomatic favor is a new form of currency in the game. Your diplomatic actions will earn you diplomatic favor that can be used in the World Congress to help you or hinder others. Uh, okay. Gather, gather diplomatic victory points to pursue the new diplomatic victory. Um, okay, I will have to check up on that. 
previous Roman going system has been replaced with a new representation of how other players view your warlike actions, grievances. Uh, I hope this works better because the warmongering system was awful. Yeah, I will need to check how this works. Uh, instead of the environment around you is more alive than ever before. Natural disasters like floods, storms and volcanoes can pillage or destroy your improvements and districts. But they might refresh and enrich the lands after they pass. Volcanoes are volcanoes are high risk but high reward. Settlement locations will volcanic eruptions can pillage or destroy improvements, districts and buildings, and even kill or damage units. But volcanic soil is highly valuable and very fertile. Geothermal fissures are new features that provide benefits to nearby buildings and districts like additional amenities or tourism. Uh, strategic, <coughs> strategic resources have been divided into two types, fuel and material. Fuel resources are used to meet the power needs of your cities. Power needs? Wow. Whereas material resources are required to produce resource-dependent units. Okay, so we now have to worry about power. Climate. Your choices about resource usage will directly affect the world's temperature and can cause rising sea levels? <laughs> Some coastal tiles will be at, high re at risk of becoming flooded or completely submerged. When settling cities, consider the risk of these coastal lowland tiles. But keep in mind that in the atomic era, flood barriers can be used to protect these tiles. Wow. Uh, there is plenty more to explore including new eras in technology and civic trees, new historic <coughs> moments, new... <coughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm, f f since the past two months, I, I didn't really have to talk so much. New global units, including the great, the giant death robot. Uh, not my favorite part of the game in C5. Leaders and civilizations that synergize with new systems and more. Will your civilization weather the gathering storm? How will you rule? Yeah, okay. Uh, discovery of shield building. Alright. Um, let's see. Since we have I'd no idea where we're going, or where we are, rather. Okay, so this is the bottom of the map. No point in going this way. Uh, we need to choose our research since we are getting science points already. Uh, let's see how the technology tree changed. Mm. Pink machine removed to be somewhere higher. Batteries, that's something new. Hydra Sophia, dam. Uh, railroads are back, Ooh, nice. this canal oh here here is the canal nice I definitely want to try that um, future error now has something interesting but honestly other than that uh, I don't see many changes maybe I'm just missing something University of, of San Cor. Alright, we have ship building. So we can build quad rims right away. Okay, uh, well, let's start with pottery. Yeah, code of laws doesn't really any 
have any uh, alternatives. It might take us a while to find a land. It seems we started really far away from any coast. Or I chose a poor direction to go. Okay, here we go. Okay, and there is someone here. Good. I think it's a city. State. Yeah, Mohenjo Daro is here. Post to culture in the capital. Oh, we are the first to meet them. Good. Uh, I haven't discovered another content. Okay, boost to foreign trade. Nice. Oh. Wow. Okay, good. Euro America and Laurasia. Envoy, great general. The, yeah, I doubt that's gonna happen. Um, okay, do we go this way or we try to find another land? The answer is we're gonna try to find another land. Hopefully, it will happen soon. Uh, yeah, you need to go this way. Plus one envoy, nice. Uh, what's your bonus? Plus one. A base of plus one diplomatic favor every turn. The city still follows you into war. Uh, have full housing from water as if they were all next to a river. That's actually not bad. So, yeah, let's try to get this one. Okay, now I'm. A little bit worried. Okay, well, there is another city state here. So maybe it's not so bad that we didn't go this way. Uh, your builders can now make more improvements. Uh, we already can do that, right? So it's probably for other civilizations. Okay, there seems to be a land here, and we met Vilnius and boost the political science, uh, political philosophy, right? Let's see another continent, another envoy, trade route, Eureka for iron working. Okay. At his best. Uh, yeah, we do, do want faith, so. Oh, that's actually a very interesting point. So, for us, it is very difficult to get religion. In general, it's difficult to get a religion, but when you are so far behind on on faith, it's even worse. Uh, Zanzibar, and we didn't get an envoy, so they already met someone else. Can we settle here? Yes, we can. Um, What's that? Rangatike River. Oh, so now rivers have names? Or is this some something special? Rivers. Yeah, rivers have names now. Wow, cool. Okay. We met Lisbon, and they want us to train a quadrim. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I think this is a fine place to start. <laughs> we really need to get going on our city building. Uh, we get, got a few free builder, which is nice. Let's start with a. Um, uh, oh. Wait. Okay. <coughs> Queue for different building uh, cities right away. Wow. The fact that they finally added Q to the building screen is amazing, but multi Q is fantastic. Okay, that's super cool. I will check that out, that's for sure. And filters are good. Wow. Uh, well, okay, let's start with the uh, scout. And foreign trade. So, do we want to farm? Actually, what tiles are we working? Um, this is rainforest, right? No, plains. Rainforest, right. So we get extra production for unimproved rainforest. So we don't really want to cut this. Well, maybe we do. If we cut, we get extra production. Building a couple of farms here might also be nice. Hmm. Tough choice. I do want to build a quarry here, that's for sure. That's for sure, but we don't really have mining yet, so that's a mute point. We do need to plan our uh, uh, districts. So this is a... Shipyard district. Uh, what's it called? God, oh my god, I forgot everything. Okay. Now that's interesting. Let's try to get this one. Hopefully I there are no barbarians feel around. Happy in the good potter's hand. Great bath. Um, what? Great bath? Flat plain flat plain styles along the river containing the great bath are now immune to flood damage. Though food and production bonuses from flooding drop by 50%. Flat plain styles belong to the city, gain plus one faith from each time flood damage is mitigated. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, right. Um so science. Uh, let's go for writing. Hopefully you meet another civilization soon. Plus one population. Amazing. So we should have uber production here right now. So one, two, three tiles. I don't know how long the canals can be. Can they be three tiles long? So we can get a canal city. Barbarians and another village. Uh, you need to go back. Ooh, banana. Uh, but we That's need irrigation for that. Of trade. Uh, yeah, we still need faith about ancient and classical era naval, naval units. Uh, this can actually be super good for us. We can build quadrims and just... Oh, this is not a coastal city. Uh, still, it's pretty good. 
Improve three tiles. Yeah, that's gonna happen soon. Grow your population to size six at some point. Okay, let's go for early empire for now. Uh, yeah. A reckon unit. So a free scout. And we're gonna have another scout in one turn. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, yeah, flood. Uh, wait, flood? Farm. Here's another scout, good. And we can start building ships right now. So building a couple of quadrims should help us a lot. Uh, okay. Okay, here are barbarians. Wait and go to sleep for now. The sea seemed to roll back upon itself. Mount Vesuvius. To be driven from its banks by the convulsive motion of the earth. It is certain at least the shore was considerably enlarged, and several sea animals were left upon it. On the other side, a black and dreadful cloud, broken with rapid zigzag flashes, revealed behind it variously shaped masses of flame. Okay, so this is amazing. Uh, we definitely want to try to capture that. Okay. And here is Cleopatra. Yeah, and we would love to sample your hospitality. So... Yeah, we're not gonna get Vesuvius, at least not for now. We did get a boost of writing. Okay, interesting. Yeah, we're gonna have to land here. Uh, yeah, we do need some error score. I am happy I didn't go this way. This island is crap. We are not gonna kill him, so no thank you. Uh, actually, cancel. towards mysticism okay uh, we can actually swap out of early empire and go for mysticism why not Ooh. and we met Christina of Sweden nice uh, yeah sure let's exchange information Ooh. Yeah. Writing means sharing. That's gonna be interesting. Astrology. Uh, no, let's go for mining. Diamonds. Wow. That's a good tile. Okay, so this probably is a continent. Uh, okay, first in the world to roam the seas, plus three error score, nice. 
we will not get a dark age that's good um we do need a monument but after that i would like to get another quadrim yeah unfortunately it only has range one otherwise we would be able to get vilnius Okay, let's go this way for now. River Eden. Yeah, the fact that rivers have name nows, it's <laughs> interesting. Vesuvius. Okay, another city over there. I send you a gift of bendy sticks. Uh. <laughs> yeah, sure, why not? Let's be friendly. I like to say I practice militant mysticism. I'm absolutely sure of some things that I don't quite know. Uh, okay, we still need God King, but we can change to one of these, but not really necessary at the moment. So uh, let's go to for craftsman ship. Mm. Okay. Uh, Well, I don't need this right now. Uh, what's your... Uh, two unique bonus resources. Nice. Lisbon. Oh, this is actually quite good. Uh, your builders can now make more eye improvement. Well, we can do them anyway. For the highest active alliance level, all your three theater squares districts receive plus 50... Uh, okay, I like Lisbon. Confirm. And plus two error score. Okay, let's get some XP points. I uh, probably should have moved first. Well. Okay. Andara Volcano. Let's see who is here. Still Egypt. Okay. Let's do error score. Egypt has declared war on Zanzibar. Okay. Rosetta River. Let's see the second city. Oh, here is the capital, Rocketet. Okay. And another city over there. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I don't care about barbarians I want to scout potential potential targets so we can take Abydos another volcano wow okay well I think we have been going on long enough for the first video so I'm gonna put a cut here and go get myself a drink probably some coffee Thank you for watching. See you next time.